Lori Laurie Perez is live now in Silverado Canyon, where residents are concerned about a flash flood watch still in effect there. Lori? Andrea, if that watch becomes a warning, if things get more serious, we are here at the Silverado Fire Station where they would set up a command center, have sandbags for residents, and manage evacuations as needed. Now, none of that is in place just yet, but residents are for sure watching the weather. At the Silverado Cafe tonight, customers were taking the flash flood watch with a grain of salt. No, 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 it hasn't been raining that bad at all. Beth said Silverado Canyon residents are aware of the possibility of flash flooding overnight. Not yet worried, but aware and alert. They've had practice preparing during storms, especially since the fire this past September burned almost a thousand acres, exposing rocks and soil. And that causes concerns for some, um, some very bad um, mudslides and rock slides. Up and down the canyon, sandbags from previous storms are still in place. The residents we spoke with have a plan for if and when Mother Nature comes calling. I heard that they're advising people in that area to have a family member um, awake at all times at night, like maybe take shifts, have a plan for your pets, and uh, if there's anybody with me medical needs, anything like that. Uh, I can hop my pickup truck and head down the hill. And there's only one road in or out to do that. That's another reason that homeowners here know they need to be vigilant whenever there is inclement weather. We are live in Silverado Canyon. I'm Lori Perez, KCAL 9 News.